So this thing is like one nanometer large. Yeah, hundred thousand. So that's how it works. What, what was the can saying on it? What was the purpose of the? In today's um, earthquake, there isn't the same amount of displacement with every event, so the magnitudes are are different. They aren't consistent. Closer to the San Andreas Fault or? Fault itself, you see more definition occurring here than outside. So these are these are Andromeda Galaxy. I thought those supposed to be the queen. They all have one. you do that. California dry lakes. Uh, 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 dry this year. Where do you find them in dry lakes? <laughs> oh, all over California. <laughs> Heavier than most air. It's like heavier than oxygen nitrogen. Right, so that's why it looks yeah. like it's running yeah. over. It's still got a bit of comet soup, but we're going to try to uh. squeeze this together like it was a snowball. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now hold it over here and gently pull it up. Okay, you see how the water is just flowing out very nicely, right? Okay. Now you see how there's water in there, right? Now hold it over without shaking, just empty it out. You can't, right? It doesn't, it's still there, right? Are, they're not actually as uniform as snowballs, they're a little more like chocolate chip cookie dough. They have little chunks of rock and ice and dirt in them. So there's a radioactive source in there with like a, that's emitting alpha particles. And then you have quarks and then you have anti-quarks. Or most of the surface is illuminated. This is what we call a gibbous. As the sun makes an angle with the surface of the moon, you can start to see shadows, and then you can really see the detail in the crater. Touch one of those metal tops. It's not a shotgun. You've got a You can bend them. It's a magnetic field. Bend them in the opposite direction with these different directions. 